Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to calculate LST from Landsat 9. It is same for Landsat 8 and Landsat 9 images. LST is one of important parameter for various studies. It may be studies in VCI or urban studies. Various physical processes, it is very important like hazard studies, global climate change. So we can easily calculate LST using ArcGIS. So in this tutorial, I'll show how to calculate LST using very simple six step. Here one paper, land surface temperature retrieval from Landsat TM5 and another algorithm for automatic mapping of land surface temperature using Landsat 8 satellite data. So what is land surface temperature? It is basically radiative skin temperature of the land derived from solar radiation. So it is a skin temperature of hand or skin temperature of land surface. LHT measures the emission of thermal radiance from the land surface where the incoming solar energy interact with and hit the ground or the surface of the canopy in vegetated area. So we need vegetation area and bare ground. That's why we need three band here, band 10 and band four and five. So here, Simple six step we have to follow to calculate this. You should read this paper before calculating this. Here you can find similar step. First of all, we have to calculate top of atmospheric spectral radiance. I call it step one, like this. This one step one, calculated calculation of POA or top of atmospheric spectral radiance has simple formula. Then step two, we have to calculate TOA to brightness temperature conversion. We have to convert to BT or by temperature conversion, like this paper. Here, conversion radiance at sensor temperature. This is sensor temperature. So that's been BT. This one, first step, top of atmospheric spectral radiance, then conversion radiance at sensor temperature. Then we have to calculate NDVI. To correct it, this one, NDVI, then we have to calculate proportion of vegetation or we call it PV, then calculating land surface emissivity, then we can calculate LST. And so here's simple formula, step two, top of brightness temperature conversion, then calculating the NDVI, then calculation of proportion of vegetation, that's been PV, then calculation of emissivity, then calculating land surface temperature. So this is a simple six step we'll follow in this tutorial. Let's start in ArcMap here, this one ArcMap, here one tab, add data. We have to add here three band, band 10, band four and five. So here already I have downloaded Landsat images, that's been Landsat 9. You can find this tutorial in my channel. Here, band four, five and Band 10, add it. So this one, band 4, 5, and this one, band 10. So we need first band 10, this one, band 10, OK? So here, our first step, that's when we have to calculate here, top of the atmospheric spectral radius. Here's simple step. See this one, TOA equal to ML. ML means band-specific multi rescaling factor, which we can find from metadata. Then multiplied by QCAL. QCAL means corresponding band. And plus AL, AL means additive factor. That's the additive rescaling factor. Again, we can find it from metadata. So here, this one, metadata, open it. Here, you can find this rescaling factor Multicative, we can find here multicative radiance. See this one, level one, radiometric rescaling. We need this one, radiance malt band X. X mean corresponding band here. So here, radiance malt band X mean 10, this one. So this is the value. Just take a copy and open one Excel sheet. This value mean ML value. This fellow. Akmar, 
of an arc toolbox, then special analysis tool, this one, special analysis tool. Then click it here, then map algebra, this one, raster calculator. Control V, this value. This value mean 0 0.00038 mean ML, that's in multiplicative value. Multiplied by corresponding band, here band 10, this one band 10, plus AL, that's been additive value. Additive value for band 10, this value. 0 0.1000, just take this copy, plus control V. Okay, you can change output raster. I'll change output raster from here. Okay. LST. This is TOA dot TIF. TIF is extension. Save it. Click it OK. It will take some time. Next step, BT. We have to calculate brightness temperature. That's in BT. So we have to convert TOA to brightness temperature this is the simple formula v2 v2 mean k2 k2 in band specific thermal conversion constant again we can find this k2 and k1 from metadata so k2 and divided by log normal then k1 divided by l l mean toa plus one then minus 273.15 actually here 273 is a constant, absolute zero value. Therefore, to obtain the result in Celsius, the radiant temperature is adjusted by adding absolute zero. This value means minus 273.15. So, if we use this value, then it will be converted into Celsius. So, here is simple formula. Already, we have calculated TOA, that's been L. So, here, we have to find first K2. Okay, we can find in metadata. Okay, control F, just type here K2. Okay, this one K2. Constant value K2 for band 10. This is value, just take a copy, the K2 value. Okay, again, arc toolbox, raster calculator, open bracket, control V, divided by log normal. So we can find log normal here in this map function, ln, this one, log normal. Then again, open bracket, k1. We have to find out here again, k1. So this one, k2 for band 10, and this one, k1 for band 10. Just take this copy, control V. Then according to our formula, divided by L, L mean here, TOA. So here TOA, this one, plus one, close this bracket. Here yeah, double bracket, we have to use double bracket here. Minus constant 273.15. Okay, just change it. BT dot TIF. TIF is extension. So see this formula again. This formula K2 divided by log normal multiplied by K1 divided by L element TOA plus one minus 273.15. I have used same formula. Let's click it okay. It's calculating. So next formula, we have to calculate NDVI. So NDVI mean band five minus band four, that's when near infrared band minus Z band divided by near infrared band plus Z band. So we need band five and band four for calculating NDVI. So again, raster calculator. So we have to calculate NDVI. So open bracket, this one band five minus band four, close bracket divided by band five, that's when near infrared band, band four, that's when Z band and change this output part ndpi.tif. Save it and click it OK. Again, it will take time. Then we have to calculate emissivity factor, that's when surface factor. So we can calculate from emissivity factor from proportion of vegetation, that's when PV. So we need here minimum NDVI 
and maximum NDPI. Here the formula square NDPI minus minimum NDPI divided by maximum NDPI minus minimum NDPI. So already we have calculated NDPI. So again, arc tool box, raster calculator. So we need here squared, squared. We can find the squared from here, this condition SQ. So this one square, open bracket. Then NDVI, this value, so NDVI minus a minimum NDVI. So here the minimum NDVI minus this value. We can find this minimum NDVI from here. Go to properties, then source. Then we can find minimum and maximum value from here. This one minimum value. We can copy, control C. This one minimum value, close this one. Divided by open bracket, maximum NDPI. So just paste here minimum NDPI, close bracket. Now we have to copy here from here this value, maximum NDPI, this one. So here the formula minus NDPI. So minus minus plus. So we have to use here plus symbol instead of minus. Because here minimum value minus and minus minus plus. So th this one PV or proportion of vegetation dot TIF. Then we can easily calculate emissivity factor in step five. So we have to calculate emissivity. This is a constant 0 0.004 multiplied by PV plus 0 0.986, this also can constant for correction, this value. So this one PV, again, out toolbox, raster calculator. We have to use here constant value of 0 0.004 multiplied by PV, this value, plus constant value 0 0.986. So this is emissivity E dot tif save it click it okay now final stage we can now calculate lst so that's why we need brightness temperature smbt here the formula lst equal to bt divided by one plus 0 0.00115 into bt divided by 1.4388 into log emissivity so finally we have to use this formula for calculating LST in degree Celsius. Open bracket, BT divided by open bracket, one plus open bracket. Now constant value 0 0.00115 multiplied by BT, this value, divided by 1.4388, close this bracket, multiplied by log normal here ln log normal then e this one e now we have to close this bracket here one two three so we have to use three bracket here okay this this will mean final lst dot tif save it click it okay So this one, final LHT in degree Celsius. So highest value 43.784 degree and lowest value 6.86367. Just uncheck all. This is final LHT. Just change this color, symbol of color. Lowest value here. This one I tool. This person lowest value. 16.31 degree. Here also lowest value. 14.96 degree.
we can find the highest value here. This is red color. Thirty-two point nine nine degree, but in this river, this is river here. Temperature twenty-two point one three degree. Again, I have changed this color. See, highest value in this color. We can invert this. So invert it. So here highest value and here lowest value. Basically, this lowest value found in river body and water body. Hope you will find this tutorial very relevant. Subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you again.